Hello, welcome to Rockshire Gaming. My name is Eric. I'm Jake. And I'm James. And today we are going to be playing through Marvel United uh, Fantastic Four. Not X-Men, not regular United. We are going to be playing with the Fantastic Four uh, expansion, which is currently on the Multiverse Kickstarter from CMON right now. Um, so if you uh, enjoy this gameplay, and why wouldn't you, uh, go ahead and add that to your pledge. So... We are going to be playing with the members of the Fantastic Four. I am going to be playing as Mr. Fantastic. The Thing. And? Johnny Storm. And no Sue Storm. So, um, yeah. that's uh, We're only playing a three-player game today. And we're going to be fighting against Doctor Doom, hanging out over in his lair in Latveria. Um, we're going to be using the team mechanic in the game, which you have to use when you're playing with the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four have a card here. We have some teamwork cards that we'll be putting tokens into that pool for us to use later on. Um, uh, yeah, so that is what we're doing here. Um, Doom has some interesting things that, uh, Jake, if you kind of want to go over his uh, what he's got going on there. So he has his villainous plot, which is kind of the timer of the game. If it reaches 20, we lose. Um, his BAM effects will deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location, plus one damage to each hero in locations with any Doom bots, uh, then increase the Doom track by two. Uh, most of his master plan cards have the BAM effect on it, so, um, we are going to have to kind of hit him, hit him fast and hard, but we have to rescue civilians and defeat thugs, clear threats before we can even... Uh, do that. Uh, the special rule for him, as long as there are Doombots in his location, we can't uh, hurt him. And we can uh, discard a action uh, to remove crisis tokens, Forfeit which an action, yeah. um, are going to be something that we will be acquiring as he goes through his master plan. So uh, the overflow effect is going to accelerate the villainous plot if a um, Doombot thug or civilian can't be added to a location then it'll just kind of again accelerate that plot so so we were playing also um, this is like the third time we tried recording this by the way um, <laughs> we are using the four locations also that came with the Fantastic Four, so uh, Averia here for Yancey Street, Baxter Building, and Mount Wondegore. The other locations we were using are from the original um, Marvel United uh, base game, which is going to be Central Park and Times Square. So I think that is all we are going to be doing at the beginning. I'm not necessarily going to go over the exact rules for Marvel United. Um, uh, most everyone, I'm pretty sure, watching this has played the game. If not, you can always do a how-to video later. Um, if that's I know something, I have plenty of questions as well. Yes, this is James's second game playing uh, this with us. So, um, yeah, most of your questions will probably be answered by the questions he will be asking. Um, but if you do want to see like any kind of how-to video, just let us know in the comments and. Um, enough people ask we might go ahead and do that uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get started with doom's master plan dr doom is going to move three no bam he will add two doom bots to the location he ends up which is going to be one two three mm -hmm. so he just joined us at the baxter building and then a civilian on either adjacent location so the Doom bots go yeah, and the last one goes there. So, so something to note: the location where we are at, when a Doom bot is defeated, um, each hero on this location takes one damage. All right, so that will be something to consider while we are taking out the now Doom bots. So what I'm going to do, since I'm going to go be going first, yeah. is I'm going to play my starting hand card of Plasticity. 
Um, as long as that card is face up, all of my heroic actions and attacks um, can be played into an adjacent location. So let's go ahead and move that over there. It also gives me a wild. So um, I'm going to rescue a civilian on that right now because I don't want to necessarily have us all take damage right away. You drew a card to start, right? I did not draw a card to start. Every time. Every blessed time. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to take the civilian. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, the Fantastic Four um, start with a starting hand card specific to their uh, character, which is what Eric just played. Mm -hmm. All right, my turn. So I'll start yes, by taking. Yes, sir. A lot of times, too, with the starting hand card, you are going to want to play it as soon as you can just because like with mine it's as long as it stays in the storyline um uh so if for some reason that got flipped over i don't know if doom has any flip over effects or anything like that but um like i said as long as it is uh in effect or on the storyline i can um uh, hit things adjacent in adjacent locations so uh i'm not sure if johnny's is a permanent effect like that or not it is so but i'm not know. gonna start with that i figured you wouldn't i'm just letting you know you could <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with a T-Mark card. All right, perform actions of the same type as all actions, action tokens on the Fantastic Four card. Um, then add are. one uh, heroic action token from the pool to the Fantastic Four card. All right. So I get the heroic action still. Because it's on my card, so I want to do some heroing stuff. All right, do you want to put it on this card right here so we can get rid of it, or do you want to use it to get rid of the civilian? I think I'll try uh, and get rid of the card. I, I think that would be our best interest to try and clear the threats. Yep. So, that changes what I was going to do. And, sorry, do I also get this wild? Because it's... You get to use the wild, yes. Okay, so you can, can I do another heroic action and save that civilian? You may. Or should I have now? Uh, I was going to say you could have just cleared the threat, but... I wouldn't clear it, but yeah. Well, work towards it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to draw my card. Uh, also, just so you know, the other thing we are playing with is the plastic tokens, which were also announced recently in the Kickstarter. That they're re-offering them from Season 1 and 2, and the new ones in Season 3, so... Um, yeah, I don't know if they show up any differently on the camera or not, but that is what we are using, and you can kind of tell they have a little bit of a clink noise to them, so there's that. So, I am going to play my teamwork card, because now there is the benefit of getting that train started. Uh, so mine will add a punch token to the um, card. I will use the heroic action to put there, and I will use the heroic action uh, from Human Torch to go ahead and clear the threat, which will give us an end of turn bonus of to draw a card. If your hero has ever been a member of the Fantastic Four, you may gain one Move, heroic action, or punch token instead. So you want to draw a card, or... So I will probably um, take a move token, because my character, I feel like, is not going to have that many, uh, since I am kind of the puncher of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have my punch that I can do. Unfortunately, because of our adjacent locations, the Doombot is requires two damage, so I will not be able to take them out. But at least it, we won't get hurt once they are defeated. So now Doom's going to take his turn. Mm -hmm. And we have move two. So he's going to head over to Times Square. He's going to bam. Few men are as subtle as Dr. Doom. Each hero chooses to either discard all their action tokens, if they have any, or take one crisis token. Uh, we are going to add a thug in each adjacent and a doom bot in his current location. His current location, so... Thug there. Doom bot there. And a thug up there. All right. Um, and then, because there are doom bots in our location, we are going to take 
uh, one damage plus uh, for the bam, right? Yes. Uh, plus one damage to each hero in locations with any doom bots. So just one damage. So we are little disc kind of color. This is the bottom of the deck, right? The bottom of the deck. So uh, unfortunately, I'm the only one with a token. So I have to decide if I want to keep it or take the crisis token. I think I'll go ahead and take the crisis token. You're gonna take it. I will take it. There's Crisis token. Um, are we? And we need to accelerate the track by uh -huh. two. Yeah, from the BAM, it increases by two. There's nothing else, I don't think, affecting the increase currently. Right. So, that is that. Okay. Real quick, we do the rest of us take Crisis tokens? You don't have any tokens oh. to discard. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, so I would either discard your tokens or take the crisis token if you have them. So I chose to. Let me set the bar. Do, 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 do. Each hero chooses to either discard all their action tokens if they have any, or take one crisis token. I think it's, uh, so if they have any, or so we all have to take the crisis yeah. token. Actually, yep, we are right. So there's yours, and there's Thank mine. You. So, with that said, and just I wanted to point out, in case anybody's wondering why we didn't put one there, uh, Latveria doesn't get any threats um, according to um, the with, special setup rules. For um, Doctor Doom. For Doctor Doom, yeah. Um, he yeah, only has five threat cards, too. So. Right. So, yeah. So there's that. So anyway, I'm going to draw my card and figure out what I'm going to do so I have a punch available to me. Correct. Right. Um, then your punches can be in adjacent locations um, uh, where thugs aren't affected by Doombot armor. So we need to start clearing out some of these other things, but we need to, especially in this zone right here. Um, well, on Fort Yancey Street and Central Park, if I if I could get to it, I can't get to it. I can get to I can get to Fort Yancey. Um, I can. And technically move there, the thug only takes one damage. He's not being doubled by um, the additional armor. And don't forget, with your starting hand card, you can punch. I can punch from an adjacent area, you're right. Um, but it, it doesn't matter for the Doom bots because they're adjacent to this zone right yeah. here. So even if I moved here and punched, uh, but I can technically punch over there. So. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to. Wait, I need a movement though to do that. Never mind. Um, I'm not going to waste super genius yet. I'm going to. Ah, I need to move. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to give you guys a heroic action to use on your next turn. Uh, oh, and that, that one. What? Not that card. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to use Super Genius. I'm going to use my regular one that doesn't have the Super Genius stuff. And I'm going to use my Plasticity and do a punch to that thug and a punch to that thug. Put those there. I can't use the Heroic Action. You can. Heroic Action. Oh, can I can't use the Heroic Action adjacent. You're right. So I'm going to use that here. Thank you. We're going to start working on that one and then turn bonus draw one card if your hero has i'm gonna go ahead and draw a card just to have some time yeah there we go so while i'm doing that hand me the plasticity card real quick i just want to read it while you're james is taking his turn Ugh. so uh, I'm realizing I cannot do that. Rules are all wrong. I can only use one of, is what it says. Uh, this is one of your foes. So I am going to keep that one there. Yeah, get rid of those. You can probably get rid of your crisis token. Um, no, I was actually going to use the two punches on one Doombot. Huh. So I'll go ahead and do that. I was probably wrong move totally, then... but... Uh, just so you know, 
each year and that looks like it's one damage. Why? When uh, Doombot is defeated in this or an adjacent location, each hero and its location takes one damage. Uh, well, how are you doing on health? You guys I, both have two cards? I mean, he, he'll, he's going to be drawing a card. I'll be fine. All right. I'm going to put that on my turn there, I guess. So, I that's the card I just got. So, I'm going to do this card. And then I would draw that card that I had, and I'm good. Uh, so that is my terrible turn. <laughs> so, I take a damage from that? You take a damage from that, yes. Alright, so, so then start. you're gonna draw a card. Yep. That is the sound of a phone not silenced. <laughs> Alright, um, I thought I did that already. That's I know. What you gonna do over there, James? I guess I'll do my um, starting card here. If I stay here at the end of my turn, I get to... You get to draw a card at the end of your turn, yeah. Oh, okay, I really kind of need to do that. Um, so I'll play this card here, Pyrogenesis. That's my starting hand card. Mm -hmm. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you can treat heroic action as a punch. Um, yes. So I've got... Do I get to do one or both of these? Both items? of those. Okay, so I'm going to treat both of these... Don't kill me. What happens when I die? Uh, KOs are not good. Okay. So I'm gonna try and avoid it. Mm -hmm. I don't see a negative effect necessarily right now to KOs on the card. It's not like it advances anything that I can see, but you still don't want to do it. Okay. I will um, forego the health for now. Then I guess um, I'll. I'll move here. I'll move here with this movement. Mm -hmm. uh, turn the heroic action. We'll punch. Well, I've already got a punch here, so yep. I'll punch that thug, get rid of him. Boom. And I guess I'll use the regular heroic action to try and clear off this card. Alright. And I'm down to one health, so don't kill me. I'm not the one determining that. Um, it is Jake's turn. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and play my... Starting card, rock-like skin. As long as this is face up, I will ignore one damage during each villain turn. Um, that a good card yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought the whole teamwork thing with the starting was going to be good, but hindsight's twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to. Use the movement to move here, mm -hmm. and then I will punch the thug, mm -hmm. and that's all I really can do without using my other movement token. I would almost suggest using your other movement token to move back to the Baxter building so you can draw that card. Yeah. I, I was thinking about possibly doing something like that or crazier and go over where Doom is. But let's heal up a little bit. And now Doom will take his turn. He's not moving. Yay. You'll all rue the day you ever heard the name Victor Von Doom. One hero takes one crisis token. Okay. He bams uh, first. He's going to bam and so, add a doom bot in all three locations. Well, he bams first, then he adds a doom bot. Yeah. So deal one damage to each hero in doom's location. Nope. Plus one damage. Wherever there's a doom bot. Which, which is one where, wherever we're at. So we both take damage. Good thing you moved back. Well, I wouldn't I mean, have yeah, taken. I, mean, I wouldn't have a, taken damage. It was a net gain of zero. I wouldn't right. have taken damage. Uh, and then someone needs to take another crisis token. Oh crumbs! I guess I'll do that. Um, that's my movement turn to go back in the pool. All right. Now it's back to your turn. Now it's back to my turn. So I'm gonna draw a card. Wait, is it your turn or Doom's turn? No, Doom it's my just, turn. Doom just went. Turn. Oh, oh, we need to add the Doom bots. So. Doombot. Uh, Doombot. 
And uh, Doombot, and we're getting dangerously close to needing to do something about the Doombot. So, what card did I get? Oh, I got my teamwork card. So, uh, let's see. Not, what do I want to do here? Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I can turn, what do you, I can turn all symbols into wilds with super genius, which I might do now, so that way I can move here and clear this out to get rid of this uh, two damage requirement thing. So we can, so you can start punching stuff. Ooh, we forgot. Before what? you go too much further in your turn. When adding a Doombot to this location and adjacent location, one extra Doombot there. Oh, so that would have, ex uh, we right. couldn't have done that, so we'd accelerate it by one. Two, three. Two, three. Well, overflow, overflow, overflow. Doom bot, doom bot, no. doom bot. When adding in this in oh in adjacent location. So one two three. How many BAMs have we not added the, the thing to, by the way? We had two BAMs. So. Alright. So we were at two, right? So it'd be four. So up to four. And then one here from the three, overflow. Seven. One here from the overflow. One here from the overflow. Yes. We are at seven. Alright. See, we're catching our mistakes. I see you writing them in the comments. Um Let's see. So, with that said, yeah, that would give me three wilds if I play Super Genius now. I would be able to turn the one. It basically says, turn this turn, you treat all symbols as wild. So, that would give me three wilds. I can go here. Would it, would it possibly be better to play it after a double? It would be, but I'm trying to get rid of this two damage um, thing here. If not, all I have is a movement and one punch and I can't do well, anything. You also have the uh, punch, two punch. Oh yeah, you're right with the teamwork. And the heroic with the uh, teamwork card. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. We gotta start getting this stuff here done though. I've, I've been putting stuff here, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> we, we, it's that's where it should be. Uh, all right, I'm gonna use. I just think the teamwork card will then affect the next teamwork card too. This is true. All right, uh, throw teamwork down there. So I can use these two symbols right here. So I can move first. Mm -hmm. So I can move here. Add a heroic action there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then. Technically, have two punch. No wait. Well, I'm adding the heroic. Yeah, I'm adding the heroic extra from that, and then two punch, which, which would take out the doom bot in your location. Right. There's one punch. Where's the other punch? From oh, that card. From that card. Yeah. Um. And that's not gonna affect me in any weird way. I'm just trying to make sure that nothing's gonna. Okay, that's what I was. Uh, the self destruct butterfly. That's what I was looking for. It was. Here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then, yeah, I'll use my two punches to take out the Doom Bot there. And didn't I throw away two Doom Bots over here? No, those were those from something else. Not in this start of the game. Right. It was the other. It was the other start of the game. All right. So that is going to be that then. I can't see anything else that I need to do. They're yelling at me, but I think we're good. So, on to James. That is on to James. All right, do those doom bots up there also take two damage, or is that just a special one for these ones down here? Uh, uh, it's because the additional the, armor is an effect, so basically everything are... here takes two damage okay. to defeat. And you have a free movement. Gotcha. Or you have a movement from me, that's what okay. you get. And if you happen to have your other teamwork card, you get all three of those symbols as well. Yeah, I guess um, at the risk of going down, because I only have one health left, I'm going to use one movement to move here, a second movement to move there, 
And then uh, Nova Flame, discard one card. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I would die. Dang. Um, I guess then I'll use a heroic action here. Okay. For this card. Yeah. And then I'll use this movement to move back there and gain health. All right. Or so it's going to move there. And, yep. All righty. So that means it's my turn. I will draw. You got the It's Clobbering Time card. I, yeah, well, I don't know if we're supposed to announce that or not, but I can just see it in your hand. And I'm you know going to save that for a later time. Right now I'm going to do the uh, Move, Punch, and Heroic, but first thing first, I'm going to move. move. Uh, heroic this, so that will clear there you go. that threat. Uh, each hero in this location must discard all cards in their hand and draw the same amount of cards. This does not KO. But that's okay, because we cleared a threat. Yay. Um, so... You have a punch left. I have a punch left that I can't really punch anything here. No. But at least we are somewhat safe. Somewhat. And then you're going to draw a Master Plan card. Yeah. All right. Quick question. If yes. I were to stay on this, can I gain more than three cards in my hand? Or is it a max of three? Uh, in theory, there is a max in, hand. I just don't remember what it is. In theory, you could okay. get more. So, Master Plan card. Dr. Doom. You'll rue the day you ever heard the name Victor Von Doom. One hero takes one crisis token. He's going to move two. So he's going to move over to Central Park. Mm -hmm. And he's spamming. All right. So, so deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location. There's no one there. Plus one damage to each hero in a location with a Doom bot that is just James. Does this do anything? No. Okay. Increase the track by two. Uh, there's going to be an overflow, so, uh, in Latveria. Yeah, because I can't put the one civilian there. Oh, we are going to add two civilians to Wondagore. That filled that then we have to decide who's going to take another crisis token. I've already okay. got two. I will go ahead and take it. What the other crisis one, tokens do again? They, one, some of the master plan cards are going to, for each one that we have, it's going to be really bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can get rid of them by sacrificing one of, which is what I should have done with my punch. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I didn't have my punch. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Back to me. Drawing a card. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to, what do I have to fall back on? Move and a punch. Move and a punch. Right. Which is two symbols if you wanted to play your super genius thing. Yep, he didn't put any... Well, I'm not going to do the super genius. I'm actually going to take care of this. So I'm going to play my regular card, whatever that is called right there. I'm going to use the heroic action for this. And get rid of that. So we need to hurry up though and try to fill some of this stuff. Yeah. Because he's gonna go after every two turns at that point and accelerate things, um, which is gonna suck. Um, let's see, you may place one star token from the pool in this. Basically it gives us more options for thugs and civilians to hang out before ah. overflow happens. Nice. Um, with that said, I'm going to use the move and the punch. So, um, well, no, I can actually get rid of. I was thinking about moving here, healing again, but then mm -hmm. I can punch this and make sure it loses an overflow. I can either take out a civilian or a or a doom bot, because mm -hmm. the doom bot, this doom bot, no longer uh, doom bots here and the doom bots here no longer have a. Um, no or any two hits. The no. ones here, here, and here do, but the ones on this side of the board do not. Fair enough. So... Alright, so I'm gonna 
punch that way. And then I'm going to... Ooh. When we uh, bammed here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he had the Doombot at his location, which would have made him a card. I did discard okay. a card. Okay. I just meant... Because he drew a card here. Alright. Did he use yeah. one? Yeah. yeah that's, no. that's when I asked if this does extra damage. Yeah. Okay. Right. I put that there, and then I'm going to draw a card. So, that is my turn. Now, James. Alrighty. Um, no, we don't take damage anymore for punching the Doom Bots in this no. location, right? Okay, so I'm going to use a wild card, and uh, I'm going to turn this heroic action into a punch and use this wild card to punch the punch that guy you, twice. How are you making that up? You can do, use uh, heroic as punch. Ah, yes, okay. But you, it only needs one punch instead of two punches. Okay. Punch. Yep. So I because I defeated that one card, so it brings it down to one. Okay, so I will punch once, no. and then use an action to discard this. Yep. And then I will go ahead and draw a card because I'm still on that spot. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I got two health. Did you now. draw a card at the beginning of your turn? I did, okay. and I used it. Gotcha. I'm gonna draw a card. I'm going to. You have a wild. Yeah, I have the wild. Which and did you do this before? In your last turn? Yes. Okay. I discarded the one card I had and I drew a card to replace it. What was me? <laughs> so I had my heroic action. I'm trying to think what will set you uh best up. So I will play a move. So that way you can move if you would like to. I am going to stay where I'm at, use the wild for heroic and rescue, mm -hmm. and use my move to get rid of my crisis token. Like I did the last time, I had an extra thing. Exactly. This card doesn't KO me. Draw my new card. And I that, really feel like I'm about to get screwed. Well, I'm... I'm I have my rock skin, so I'm not going to take damage from Doom on the villain's turn. Is mm -hmm. what I'm banking on. I know, but I've been playing. I've been playing this game very dangerously because I have not gotten rid of any of my crisis tokens, and it's going to screw me over right now. <sighs> you all fell into my trap. Increase <laughs> so the Doom first. Let him move four. One, One two, three, three, four, four. He's going to bam. He's going to bam. Increase the Doom track by the number of crisis tokens the heroes have, then one hero takes one crisis token. And we are going to add a Doom bot in his location, and right. a thug in each adjacent. Just one thug. So there'll right, be. So nothing overflowed. The Latveria is going to overflow. Oh, Latveria overflows. Alright, so, so you bam, so one, two, two an overflow. Thing, one, two, an overflow, one. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, not very smart. Alright, so we gotta start getting rid of these thugs now. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see oh, here. Oh, one of us has to take a... A new crisis token, token too. I'll let you two fight over that. Closer to you, we touched the last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fragile. Alright, I'm you. going to find and play Super Genius. Alrighty. So I basically use all symbols as um, as wild. So for this turn, for this turn. this turn. So and it gives you <laughs> you James a heroic action and a punch on your next turn. Okay. So I can get. What I can do. I gotta get off this zone where I'm at. Um, oh, this overflowed too. Mm. And that no. actually, yeah, did because when adding Doom oh, Bot yeah. to this location um, and an adjacent location, add one extra there. So did that overflow by two then? Uh, no, because that was a thug. Okay. So the only the Doom Bot I was here. Alright, so, so that only did that. So I moved it on one by already. Um, I mean, in theory, we have two more master planned 
Bams. So then I'm going to move one here. I'm basically going to use the cards the way they're used, but I have no other choice. Do I? Uh, you could end over in, in the... No, because I've got a card that's a move in a, in a thing, so it give me two moves. So I can actually get here and clear something out if I needed to, instead of what I was doing. Because if I'm just doing what's on the cards, I'm not going to waste my... There's card. no way you can give me a, an extra movement for my next turn, is there? Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to switch these out. I, it's my channel and I can do what I want. Um, put that over there. So I'm going to use two movements. And a heroic action. And then a heroic action to rescue the civilian. clear a civilian. And that'll give you a heroic action and a movement. A movement. So we can't, we have to try to clear one of the other two things, um, but we need to get. Get it to where we can get one of these clear at the same time. So if can start if he can them. do what I think he's about to do, I'll, I'll clear that. That board. will clear the threat. I'll clear the board and the, uh, uh, or the thug, board. and then we just gotta clear one more threat to be able to start punching. Okay. So it's your turn. All right. That draw card. Yeah. All right. So you've given me a move. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nova Flame. Uh, discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck and deal well first of all let me move twice so i'm going to move one move for my card one move for your card put me on the same as you over there um i'm going to discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to deal two damage to everything in your location i'm sorry before i do that i'm going to use your heroic action here to save that civilian all right well, right. otherwise yeah, they, no, they just get no. discarded and they get thrown in the, no. the trash. Fair, so fair enough. Um, I mean, the card will stay no matter what. And yeah. the guy goes away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to decide which one I'm gonna discard. That one. Well, while you're deciding, let's go ahead and clear. I get rid of the, the one on your right hand. Really? The teamwork one? Yeah. Okay. So it's gone. Alrighty. So I'm going to draw my card. Mm -hmm. Actually, that works out. And I did spill over here, so I'm going to run to the kitchen real quick. I know. I'm that guy. You are that guy. <sighs> okay. Um, so while he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play my double wild. All right. And I'm going to use. Dun, dun, dun. We, we need a. Yeah. So we have you, you basically need to use the double wild here because that's going to require this and this to require multiple punching to get to it. I feel like we're about to lose the game, though. So. I will move here. Yeah. I will use the punch to punch, which will accelerate our. Yeah. Um, and then I'll use the two wilds to. Heroic action that. Heroic action, both of those, to possibly clear the threat so we can start. Punching him. Punching him. All right. So. I like this plan. Do do. Slide this over. Yep. Reset the board a little bit. All right. Let's see if uh, I get screwed or we get screwed. Someone's getting screwed right now. You all fell into my trap. Oh, that card again. Yeah. Uh, which there's now more crisis tokens. And so, anyways, he's going to move five. Let's start with that. To Yancey Street. Increase the, the Doom Track by the number of Crisis Tokens the heroes have. So two. Uh, we lost. I have one as well. Did he bam? And he bams. All so. right. So we lost the game. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry, my fault. Yeah, you left the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I feel like that was poor planning on my part. As the leader of the group, I would have to concur. <laughs> I was clearly the muscle, and you were the brains, and yeah. What? Look, no one said Reed Richards was the smartest man. Except for he did. 
Well, he did, yeah. I mean, I can say I'm the smartest person in the world. Not, obviously. Um, yeah, so that was uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, Marvel United. Um, we, we didn't even get close. <laughs> I mean, we kind of got close. We got uh, the I mean, defeat I, thug was done. We got the clear threats done. Basically, uh, I have a lot of punching in my deck, so I just would have had to be in the same spot as Doom and just start wailing on him, yep. which is how things usually happen in the scenarios with these characters. But I mean, yeah, I saw the movie. It was great. Look, now they know how to play, we got time for one more. <laughs> History record. <laughs> this has never happened. They won't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so with that said, uh, that was this game. Like, Thank you guys for watching this train wreck occur. Um, please make sure to uh, like this channel, subscribe to this video, uh, notify channel things. All that was said wrong. Um, I try to mix it up every time of what well, actually They get the gist of what you're They get the gist of it, yeah. So... If you want to see just Eric, enjoy yourself. If you want to see Eric do more of this stuff, please do what you need to do yeah. to make it happen. Push some button that lets you know that I'm doing the thing, and everything will be great. Then I can come over and play games. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you. So you want to do another one real quick? <laughs> you release them both back to back. <laughs>